Hello and welcome. Today we will learn in a very easy way how to add extent reports to our APM Java project and this will be very easy and very interesting and I will go very basic step by step. So here we have created a Java project in the earlier session for APM and you can see this is the project APM demo project and this is a Maven project and we have we are also using TestNG and if I go inside the SRC test Java and under test folder we have created a base class and tests class. So this is what we have done in the earlier session. Now I want to add reporting to my project and for that we can use extent reports. So I will go to Google and search for extent reports and this will take me to this website extentreports.com. This is the official website for extent reports. I will go here and you can see this is our report that we are going to create. So I will go to docs and you can see version 4 is the latest. I will go to Java and here you can see some documentation and to download we can use a Maven dependency or Gradle. I will go to Maven. So here you can add a dependency like this. I will go to Maven repository and here this is the Maven repository mvinrepository.com website and here I will search for extent reports and you will see this is the extent reports which is from com event stack I will go here and you can see all the versions here I will go to the latest version which is 4.0.9 at the time of recording this video and I will just copy this maven dependency from here and go back to my project go to pom.xml and here I will go down and in dependencies section I will add it and to correct the identification I will select everything and press ctrl i or command i in case of mac and now I will save the project once you save it will download all the libraries and I can also go to project and clean the project so I will say clean and now we should be having all the extent report libraries in our Maven dependencies. So here you should be having all the extent reports libraries and you can see like this. So we have added the library or the dependency and now I can add the code. So if I again go to the extent reports website here. Now here I can go to I will just go back and I will go to docs and I will actually go to version 3 and go to Java because there is some very good documentation available here. If I go to the basic usage and not the basic usage I should go to the examples. So yes you will see examples at the bottom. I will go here and under examples we have basic usage example and this is how we can use it. So this will be very handy. I will go to my project and now under the test folder I am going to create another class. I will select a new class and I will say this is extent reports demo. You can name it anything. Don't name it as extent reports because that is a class that we will be using. So I am saying extent reports demo and say finish. Now here this is my class. I will create some setup and teardown method. So I will say public void report setup and I will say public void report teardown and this I can say this is before suite so I want to run this before running all the test cases so I am using the test ng annotation before suite and here I will say after suite and I will import from test ng. Now I will add the code to generate report here. So if I go to the example you can see this is what we have to use. So I will just copy it from here and I will add it here. So the first statement is extent HTML reporter and any variable name new extent HTML reporter and this is the report name. Now if you just give the name without giving any path it will get saved in the main 
folder of your project or the home folder of your project so this if I say extend.html it will be saved below this APM demo project folder or you can give an absolute path so I will just keep it as it is for now and then I also have to import it so if I hover over this if I hover over this HTML extend HTML reporter I will import it from com.eventstank extend reports reporter and I will save this similarly this extend report I will again hover over this and import from extend reports here and that's it so we have added this code and now if you see this we can now create our test cases and then we can keep on adding the log statements so here when wherever we are creating our test case we will add these statements so if we have a test here so for example I have public void I will say demo test and if I give the annotation at test this will be a test ng test and inside this function I can add this code however we do not want to add it here we want to add it to our test cases that we have already created in our earlier sessions so I will do that and before I do that we also have to flush the report in the after suite function so this is the last statement that you should be calling after everything is done so this is extend.flush now if you see here it is throwing an error because this extend variable is created inside this function and it is not visible here so to make it visible to all the functions I will just copy this and take it to the global level or the class level and here I do not need to have this and similarly this extend reports extend also I will copy and add it to the class level and I do not have to use this here I will select everything by pressing ctrl A or command plus A on the keyboard and then press ctrl I or command I on Mac to correct the indentation and now this is done so we are also flushing the report now if you see in our base class so this is the base class we already created where we are setting up the mobile driver desired capabilities and then everything from here is being used in the test class where we have our tests so we cannot directly use this extent report functions or these uh, extent reporter extent all this here so for that I will have to in the base class I will have to say extends so I will say extend and I will say extent report demo class so our base class is extending the extend reports demo class and then our test class is extending the base class so whatever functions and variables I have here will be visible to the base class because it is extending this class and whatever functions variable we have here will be visible to the test class so everything that we have here will be visible now in test class so we can create our tests separately in a separate class and still use the extend functions now you can also have this before suite and after suite methods within this base class so you do not have to create a separate extent reports demo class you can have everything in the base class but just for easy understanding I have created this separate class so now I have done the extension as well so now I can go to tests and here inside every test I will start a test statement for extent reports like this extent test and I can give the name and the description like this so I will say here so here I can say I will go to the okay this is not required I will just import the extent test class and that's it and here I will say this is test1 and I can give some description sample test case for a demo and now on every step I can keep on logging the statements so for example I can log an info statement like this so I will say here test dot log status dot info this step shows some usage logs or I will just say here test 
test one started so this is information and here again I have to import status from event stack extent reports and that's it so I can name this as test one and here I will also say test one and then whenever I do any step I will say again test one dot log now instead of info I will this time say pass and I will say here because this will pass and after that this will run the statement I will say navigate to https google.com similarly after this step I will say test1.log pass and here I will say enter automation in google search box and here I will say this is again pass hit the keyboard enter key and all these test cases we have created in our earlier session and then at the end I can again just log a information message so I will say log dot status dot info test one completed also you can see instead of info and pass you can have multiple other statuses like debug error fail fatal info skip etc warning as well so you can do this so for now I have just done this and at the end we are anyways flushing the report which is important now if I run my test so for that I have to make sure my device is connected and APM server is running so I have connected my Android device to my laptop if I run ADB devices I can see my devices there and to run the APM server I will just say APM and hit enter and this should start APM on the default server default port 4723 so now I can run my test and we should have a report called extend.html created this time so I will say run as test ng test and let us see and also I will show you my mobile device it is here so you can see that mobile device is here with the help of visor I can see the screen of my mobile on my laptop and let us see it is running our test we can see the logs on APM server okay I think uh, this we had in the last session we were doing test on iOS so that is why it is starting iOS let me stop this because iOS it will take some time to start the emulators and uh, to start the simulators I will just say Android and I will run this again and I will just quit the simulator and yes now it should run on Android device so we are getting the logs on APM server and they should open the Chrome browser and yes it is opening the Chrome browser and running the login test so for login test we have anyways not added the extent report statements so that is fine we can do it later so this is running fine so our login test is done now it should run our google search test and this should also be logged into our reports and this is the third test and this is done if I go back to Eclipse let us wait it is still running so if I go to test ng results you can see everything is fine and now if I go to my project folder here do a right click and I will say refresh and you can see as I refreshed you can see extend.html is here if I click here it should show me the extent report and it is here and I will open in a browser so I will say right click open with system editor it will open in default browser of your system in my case uh, this is Safari and you can see the extent report here and from here you can change the theme you can see this uh, bottom left there is this button I will click this it will 
change into dark theme and this is our extent report so you can see the status here pass fail and here you can view the dashboard toggle dashboard here if you want to search anything you can search it shows the overall status these are the filters here so if you do not want to see pass or fail only all this you can do here and here this is our test as of now we have a single test we have not added uh, more than one test in the report you can see here the start time the end time and the total time taken and all the steps here again here are some filters and all the steps here and if you go to this view dashboard you can see the overall status and here you can see the again the filters the time and the number of tests number of steps and all these things are here and again now if you go to your tests and you can keep on adding these log statements wherever you are running your test and with every statement you can put the log statements now you might have a question that when it fails how exactly we are going to log so for that either you can put a try catch for every test case and whenever there will be any error or a failure it will go to catch block and in the catch block you can log failure or error for extent reports or we can also use test ng listeners so test ng listeners we can uh, see later on but this is how in a very very basic way you can use extent reports in APM Java project. I hope this session was useful for you and if you have any doubts you can put them down in the comment section below and I will try to reply you as soon as I can and I will meet you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.